Hey guys, I got a comment in the Elgato Eve Energy review from Elias Antonopoulos, I hope I'm saying that right, about whether or not we can set the lights to go on and off around timers. So I'm going to put this quick video together to show you exactly how to do that and what's possible. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so before we get into this section, what I want to make sure is you guys have the right pieces in place. So to get the automations to work, when you're not at home, you're going to need a Apple Home Hub or a, or a device that's acting in that role. Devices that can do that are the Apple TVs, so Gen 4, the 4K, um, as well as the Apple iPad if you turn on the Home Hub section in your iPad settings. Okay, so if you do not have one of these three that is always at, how, at your house, at home, I'm sorry, this isn't going to work for you. You're going to be limited to when you're home with these devices. So an Apple TV or an iPad set up in the Home Hub mode. Um, we should be seeing the Home Pod coming out here in about December 2017. That could also act as this role. So before you get into this and start trying to ask questions of, hey, why doesn't this work when I'm not home? That would be why. If you don't have a Home Hub, this isn't going to work for you when you're not there with your devices. Okay? So here we are in the My Office room that I've got set up in my Home app. And I've got the Eve Energy in here, so of course we can always manually turn this on and off. We can also use a voice activation if we've got that set up and you, you want to try that. Hey Siri, turn Eve Energy off. Okay, the Eve Energy is off. There we go. So it's going to take a couple seconds for this to refresh in the app. There we go. It's turned off. That, of course, is not the only way. Um, and in fact, for me, turning things on manually, turning things on um, using your voice, it's, it's impressive to friends. But I really want things to happen, and I want my house to respond to me automatically. So to do that, we're going to do a couple things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a scene to turn this Eve energy on and off. So we're going to add scene. Scene name is going to be Eve energy on and I'm going to add accessories to this. So I'm always going to use scenes um, even though I could add accessories automatically or um, specifically to a automation. I don't like doing that because it's kind of hard to figure out which specific automation is the one that is causing you causing some action to happen. So I always prefer to set up a scene first. That's going to save you a lot of head headache later when you're trying to troubleshoot things. Okay, so do I want to turn it on or off? I'm calling this Eve Energy on. There we go. I'm going to include this in favorites so I can see on my main screen exactly what is going on here. Click done. There, you can see turn office lights on. Uh, sorry, Eve Energy on over on the top left. Okay, that's good. Now we're also going to create one for Eve Energy off. So Eve Energy off. And in this case, we're going to go do the exact same thing. I'm going to go down to my office. We're going to grab Eve Energy. And this time, instead of making sure it turns on, the action is going to be to turn it off. So click Done. OK, so now we can see Eve Energy is off. We can turn it on by clicking the Eve Energy On button and turn the EVA energy off. And of course, you can add multiple accessories in this. Um, I'm just doing one for this particular demo. So now that we've got our two scenes set up, we're going to go to Automations, and I'm going to create a new automation. And this one, the question was about timers, so I'm going to say let's do this about timers. So let's say time of day at 10 a.m. on Monday through Friday, What do I want to happen? I want to turn the Eve energy on. So to start with, this is just turning it on. right? What we can do as well is we can say, okay, turn off. I can say after one hour, after 30 minutes, I can have this automatically turn off. So when this action is triggered based on the time event, so 10 a.m. hits, Monday through Friday, automatically 30 minutes later, this will turn itself off. So what's interesting about this is this is the values that are available in the Apple Home, native home app. If you look in some of the third-party apps, like the Elgato Eve app, for instance, 
this can go up a lot higher. This can go up into two, three hours, six hours. Um, I don't actually know what the maximum is, but you might want to look at if you want something to turn off after an hour or two, look into some of the third party apps. So that's one way of doing it, turning it on based on a timer and turning it off automatically 30 minutes later. So the second automation we're going to look at here is to turn the, the Elgato Eve energy off at a specific point in time. So I actually use this for the bedrooms in my house. Um, I, don't, I don't run around after my kids anymore and tell them to turn the lights off. I just have an automation set up at 8.30 in the morning. I want to turn the bedroom lights off. So how I might do that, and, and if you, you have to think about the use case here. My kids are going to be gone at that time of day. So time of day occurs. So at 8.30 a.m., Monday to Friday, because those are school days, I'm going to go and I'm going to run that, turn it off. So what I'm saying here is my kids are gone. They're at school. Why do their bedroom lights need to be on? They don't have to be. So, yeah, I might be doing them a disservice. Yes, I should probably teach them to turn their lights off, and, and I still try to do that. I try to be a good parent. But kids, they mess up, and I would rather not have to run around my house every morning trying to turn the lights off. So, again, this is just a way to make your life a little bit easier using the automation and the time-of-day-based automation. Hope that answers your question, and hope that helps. Any questions, comments? Please feel free to look at those in the bottom. If you want more use cases, more information on how to get more out of your smart home, please check out the Udemy course, which is in the link as well in the notes below. And uh, thumbs ups are always appreciated. Thanks, guys.